Alright, so don't mind the work get up. Uh, I told you guys I'd get a video out, so I didn't have a lot of time. So I came home, got a video out for you guys. So as you guys can see, the new car is here. It is a 2005 Dodge Neon SRT4. Now, you're thinking one of two things. Well, at least most people are. One, sick SRTs are tight. Or two, what the hell did you do? So let me give you guys a rundown on the car and then uh, I kind of explain my reasoning behind everything. Okay, so we have your typical SRT4, honestly. The car has uh, been resprayed white. The paint looks really good on the camera. It's okay in person, but there's a lot of flaws. So like this carbon fiber wing needs new clear. Um, there's some orange peel here and there on paint. It does need to be detailed too. Uh, real carbon fiber hood. You can see it has a lot of water spots and stuff. I haven't detailed the car uh, since I've gotten it, uh, but I've also owned it now for quite some time, six months or so. Uh, bumper crash. That's our previous owner though. That's your boy. Um, and then interior is pretty clean. So there's the body straight. There's no real dents or anything at all. No scratches. Uh, the jams are white too, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, interior is clean, no rips, no tears. Uh, steering was a little faded, but you gonna know, replace that anyways. Um, and then in the back, I bought the car about six months ago, something like that. Uh, the car was full bolt-on pump gas when I got it. It was on some different injectors. I forgot what size they were, uh, but it wasn't really tuned right at all. It ran really rich. It was like 10 at wide open throttle, and I don't know how long the previous owner had been driving it that way. Uh, but I wanted the car because I wanted a white SRT4. It is a slick top, which is another thing that I really wanted. Um, the car was not originally white, however. The car was originally the orange blast. Um, the previous owner had gotten in a wreck where you can see the bumper, um, and he had a bunch of like shrub wreck so it wasn't it didn't really fuck up the frame or anything but there was so much shrub across the side of the car that it cost more to paint it than it was worth so he salvaged it out got the check bought the car back and then had his friend respray it white i like the white better anyways uh so pr pretty pumped off that um basically i've always wanted one of these cars i've always always wanted one and it's just never fit the bill uh it's always just beat the crap too much money and after I had sold the Jetta I didn't really plan on getting into cars at all anymore I was just gonna take a break do a, the adulting thing scroll on Craigslist seen this thing and pretty much bought it uh, same day drove it for about three months or so um, I ended up getting 10 25 cc injectors I uh, getting the car rescaled and tuned for E85 I put the wheels on the car uh, adjusted the ride height because it was slammed on stock wheels uh, before so I raised it my first functional car first car I've ever raised in my entire life I drove it for about three months and all of a sudden, a little bit of smoke and then it got progressively worse and worse and I ended up doing a compression test and a leak down test, which I didn't do initially when I bought the car, which I should have done. Um, and the motor's pretty much toast. So as you guys can see, the bay is not as clean as the outside. Uh, I just haven't really got with it too much. Uh, initially when the car started smoking, I was convinced that it was the turbo. And I replaced the turbo, um, and I cleaned up a bunch of other little stuff, like the manifold was all faded and stuff. Um, but turbo wasn't it, and I was kind of in the back of my mind knew that the turbo wasn't it, and that's why I haven't really gone ham in this bay. As you can see, when they painted the bay or painted the car, there's still a lot of orange left. So they did kind of a knickknack job with all that. There's orange there. Uh, yeah, so. That's kind of the downfall. I put a secondary catch can on it, so it has AGP catch, AGP catch, pan, catch, gosh dang it, Brandon, AGP catch can, and then I have the second one here. I was basically doing everything in my power to make the car not smoke and just drive it as long as possible because I knew what was coming next. We have two options. One, sell the car, take a loss on it, or two, pull the motor from the car, clean it up like I did the Jetta, and take this car to the next level, and that's where we are that's my plan so uh within the next few videos uh we'll be pulling this motor uh my guess is it has a cracked ring land 
It drives fine around town at full boost, wide open throttle, it smokes like a son of a beast. So I'm guessing it's a crack ring land. I'm not 100% sure. I won't know until I pull the motor apart. Uh, we have my first time pulling the SRT4 motor, and I'll basically be getting really acquainted with this chassis. I'm not, like, scared by any means. I've worked on a bunch of different cars. I've done a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, as you guys know from watching the other videos, there is nothing out of our ballpark that we're, you know, scared to do here. So we're going to pull it out, and we're going to try to get this car to run 11s. Uh, that's the plan. Low 12s, high 11s, full interior, comfortable. I can throw my kids in the back, take it to cars and coffee. Or I can go blow doors off somebody with a car that costs five times as much. So stay tuned for the build, guys. Uh, we're going to go bigger turbo. I was originally thinking uh, big wheel stalker, but I think we're going to go a little bigger. California sucks. Smog sucks. But at this point, I've been dealing with it for so long that the bigger turbo will probably be less stress on the rods uh, because you'll be making boost higher up. So I still got some research to do. I hope you guys are excited. I am not excited to really pull the motor and paint the bay and do everything that we're going to be doing but i'm excited for the end result so if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up we'll catch you guys on the next one peace